Now for this next section, we're gonna go into how we actually create these reports and how we get this information within the dashlets and obviously have a look at the ways that we can actually create them. Now, the great thing is though, is that reports within Sugar CRM are very easy to create and turn into dashlets. What we do here is, is that we can select a module. And what, once you've selected that, and in this example, we've gone for opportunities. We then see along the top, we're at the next step in the filter group here. We have related modules underneath our opportunity. We also have fields below this too. So all the fields that are linked against the opportunity module itself are all here as we can scroll through. Now at this point, I've got some filters in place. We can see our opportunity status is one of closed one. We wanna make sure that the assigned user first name is not empty. Once we've done that, we go through the next step. We then add the month expected close date and assign to user first name. Now, if I wanted to, I can add simply by clicking on the box on the left hand side. So I can click here. I click next. We have our display summaries in place. So this is what's going to be visible within the report itself. We have our columns in place and then we have our chart options too. But in here right now, I've selected vertical bar stacked and then I click next and then I give it a name and then we can save and run. But once this report is generated for us, you can see a visualization of what the report is going to look like. And all we need to do to add this to our dashboards is click on the box here. I add dashlet, but what I need at this point is that we go to the save reports chart dashlet. I select the report that I've just created, and then this is now added to the bottom of the screen. So Sugar Discover uh, provides unprecedented insight into our revenue performance. So Discover eliminates the need to build your own analytical database, learn a complicated tool. Now with Sugar Discover reports, you will have information on pipeline analysis and time aware trend analysis reports too. Now you'll see there are several trend reports available starting from average deal size, uh, and ending at idle opportunities by sales rep. Now, each report is providing you with data and trends to understand how you and where your sales process is stuck or moving well. Now, this is also visible over time. With each report, you can look at more insights. So for example here, and what you'll see here is that we can see the top assigned to for average deal size uh, by calendar month. So this is actually taking me to a screen where I can really dive down into the report types here. Now advanced analysis should be made easy for everyone, not to just build, but also to understand the, the data that's coming out of it as well. And I believe with Sugar Discover, this is certainly possible. 